if you're here watching this particular course, and I guess you are or you wouldn't hear me talking about this, it's kind of a deep subject, but let's talk about Microsoft SQL Server certification because that's probably a little bit to do with how you got here to start with. Now understand Microsoft is currently offering four levels of SQL Server certification. They have what's called the Microsoft Technical Associate, the MTA. And this is what Microsoft recommends as an entry point into IT certification, job preparation in the IT industry. And the database track of the MTA requires you to pass one single 70-364 database fundamentals course. And it's for the very, very, very absolutely totally new person to the whole idea of databases. Now, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate, or the MCSA level certification, is what you're probably focusing on in this course. And earning an MCSA SQL Server certification will qualify you for a position as a database developer or a database analyst. And trust me, you will like the reception that you get out there in the real world when you're applying for a job when you possess an MCSA SQL Server or any kind of SQL Server certification. So to get this MCSA SQL Server certification, you will first have to successfully pass exam 70-461, which is querying Microsoft SQL Server 2012, which is the course you're watching right now. I'm going to help you get ready for that exam. You'll also need to pass exam 70-462, which is administering Microsoft SQL Server 2012 databases. Then you'll need to pass exam 70-463, implementing a data warehouse with Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Now, by the time you get through with those three courses, you will have been through a lot of information about SQL Server, and you will know a lot of information. Now, once you've done the MCSA, you can bump it up a little bit, kind of raise your game a little, by then achieving the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert or MCSE level certification. And on SQL Server, that's in two different concentrations. That's MCSE Data Platform and MCSE Business Intelligence. And I'm not going to go through the specifics on those. I'll show you how to go find that in just a few minutes here. But both of these MCSE level certifications include querying SQL Server 2012 or exam 70-461 as a required exam. And again, that's what we're concentrating on here. So once you successfully pass this exam, you've already knocked out a little bit of work on the MCSA level and the MCSE level certification, regardless of whether you want to go for data platform or business intelligence or both. And then kind of the big one, the top level certification that Microsoft offers, is the Microsoft Certified Solutions Master, or the MCSM. Now, this particular level of certification validates your deep product expertise, as well as your ability to design and build the most innovative solutions using Microsoft SQL Server technologies. Now, that verbiage came right off of their website. The MCSM is a lot more difficult. There's a lot more involved in getting this certification. However, notice querying SQL Server 2012, exam 70-461 is a required part of that. So by passing this one exam, you're kind of knocking out some work on all the levels of possible SQL Server certification. So it's a great expenditure of your time and effort, and you're going to like the way you get received in employment offices and the human resources departments when you hold a SQL Server certification. Now, you can learn more about Microsoft's SQL certifications out there on the web at www.microsoft.com slash learning. And then just go into the SQL Server certifications and you can see all these levels and all the requirements and so forth. Now, don't let certification intimidate you. Take the courses one at a time. They kind of build on each other. Are they difficult? Yes, if you don't study. Are they difficult if you study and prepare? No, it's just like any other test. You answer the questions and you get through there. Okay, there is a mystique out there about SQL Server. Don't let that intimidate you. Okay, it's very logical and it's quite entertaining. That's the bottom line on SQL Server certification. I just wanted you to be aware of how the course that you're taking fits in with Microsoft certification tracks. Now, what you're doing here is well worth your time and effort, trust me. And so we'll jump into the course now and start to work in it. We'll go step by step and get you up to speed and help you prepare 
for this exam.